Hey guys, it's Ariel, and today we're gonna have a little story time. So go lay in your bed, have your mom tuck you in, and I'm gonna tell us a little story. And the topic's gonna be about um, dreams. It's not gonna be like about dreams. It's gonna be like, you know how when you wake up and you think a dream is real, and you think it actually happens. So that's what the topic's gonna be about. But this dream happened when I was seven years old, and it all started when I was on vacation at Universal at Universal Studios. It's an amusement park. And, um, as, as you know, all amusement parks have, like, little booths where you can play games and stuff. And this game had a huge Spongebob. And, um, it was, like, four feet tall. So at the time, when I was seven years old, it was taller than me. So I was like, I want it, I want it. Um, my dad ended up winning it for me, right? So, so I ended up playing with it the whole trip. I ended up sleeping with it. And I, I'm getting, and I'm getting so excited, you know? I have this new awesome stuffed animal. But then, um, but then we have to leave. We have to go back home. And, um, of course, at the time, uh, um, the, of course, of, co of course, the, uh, um, stuffed animal was way too big to bring on a plane or fit in a luggage. So there was no way we were bringing that back. But I didn't know that. I was a little kid. I was only seven. So, um, my parents tell me that we can't, I can't bring this, this stuffed animal back. And I'm crushed absolutely crushed i don't know what to do you know i'm just a little kid without his favorite favorite tv or favorite um sponge as you would say um he can't bring him home you know but we also had bob and bobette on us at our trip no those aren't their real names but we had family friends on the trip and my dad said maybe they'll bring it back you know maybe they'll bring it back with them and obviously they weren't gonna bring bring um obviously they weren't gonna bring um the stuffed animal back because it's too big. They can't even fit it. They can't even um bring it on the plane also. But I was a kid, I didn't know that. My dad was my dad was telling me it just to shut the fuck up. So, um so um a week passes by and I'm sleeping in my bed and I have a dream. And the dream was that the the couple that we we were on vacation with, um, the couple that we were on vacation with, the couple that we so the so so um so the couple that we were on vacation with um was coming back, and they were driving down my neighborhood. Now this wasn't like like any average neighborhood. This was my neighborhood. Like the houses to the like everything matched up. I thought I was in like real life. So. They were driving down my neighborhood with my SpongeBob, my SpongeBob in the front, in the front seat, and I'm looking outside my window like, yes, yes, I can't wait, I can't wait. And once they get to my house, they gave it to me, you know, you say thank you, and then I start playing with it, playing with it. Ten minutes later, I wake up, and I'm like, yes, I had got my SpongeBob back, and I didn't realize that it was a dream at that time, like at that moment. So. So after I do all my morning shit, like brushing my teeth, I'm like, I want to go play with my SpongeBob. So I go and try to find the SpongeBob, and I can't find him. I can't. I, he wasn't there. He wasn't in my room. He wasn't in my house. I couldn't find him. So I started getting really upset, and I was like, But I was playing with him yesterday. Why can't I find him? And then it took a while for me to realize that it was a dream, and SpongeBob was gone forever. And the, and the couple came back two days ago because they were over my house two days ago. And they did not have a Spongebob then. So it was I realized it was a dream. I was crushed and I think I was crying. So that was basically the worst story from my childhood, obviously. I mean, a man loses his stuffed animal. It's tough times in the life of a seven-year-old. But anyway, guys, um, tell me in the comment section below about your worst memory of being a child and um and as always like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one